Hello beautiful Pisces. Welcome to my channel, Miss Reamy Healings. My name is Reem. Welcome into your February. Yes, February reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Pisces on your soul to soul connections. This could be for a soulmate. This could be for twin flame. Please take it however it resonates with whatever journey that you are on here on earth in this lifetime. We are all on different journeys. We are all on different paths and they are all beautiful. Messages may also arise regarding your work, family, friendship, career, and any messages that you need to hear from the divine, from our Holy Spirit to help heal you, okay, and provide you with clarity. This is the Angel Oracle Tarot, and then we'll get into the um, tarot cards. Let's go with the flow. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Pisces. I just saw the Strength card. Whoa. But I also saw somebody at the gym. So you could um, be like a regular at the gym, or maybe you're thinking about joining a gym, or somebody is a personal trainer. Um, but I just saw strength. Six of Cups, support. So you're getting some support here. Did this come out last time? I don't know if it came out last time for you. Let me just get another card on this. You're getting lots of support here. Theft. Seven of Swords and challenges at the bottom. One more. So I see you getting some divine assistance, some divine, yeah, angel of innocence, the fool. Okay, so for you, Pisces, I feel like you're somebody is trying to steal your happiness or try to um, create some challenges in your life. This could be a friend, a family, or a lover, um, or a karmic lover, okay? So someone that's coming with an ill intent, I feel here, but um, I do see being, you're, you're just going to, you know, leave this be. I see you just being the fool and kind of just, you know, moving away from that quite Quite quickly. Um, you're getting lots of support in this situation nonetheless. Okay? I feel like you've been through some challenges already. I feel like this could be your past energy, so please take it however it resonates. This could be your present energy of the fool where you are you know, moving forward, you're really stepping into this innocent energy and just really being free, freed from theft energy, freed from people who are trying to steal away your happiness. That's what I feel. I feel like somebody's trying to um, steal your light or steal your positivity. Um, you ever meet somebody and somebody is, um, somebody is like, Oh, sorry, I just went blank. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I just went blank. What was I saying? This always happens when I channel lately. I don't know why. Um, okay, you ever meet someone or you're having a conversation with someone, this could be a coworker, and you're having a really good day and you cross paths with them, with them and they just are so negative and they try to steal everybody's sunshine this person you could have encountered a lot of people that just tried to steal away your shine or just like goodness yeah restrictions here look seven of swords again at the bottom of that the seven of swords twice yeah i feel like pisces you're just encountering a lot of these people or you're going to encounter a lot of these people take it how it resonates this could be your past this could be your present or this could be your future, okay? Energy is fluid and everyone here is on different timelines. But this Eight of Swords energy is like, 
you feel res- like either you feel restricted or the person that you are connected to is feeling restricted but i feel like this energy is causing you to feel restricted um it's it's challenging for you to deal with people like this you shouldn't be dealing with people like this you gotta cut yourself free i feel like that's why we have the uh, full energy here about freedom and cutting yourself loose yeah, Destiny uh, here with the Wheel of Fortune moving forward. Two cards about moving forward here with the Six of Swords. And you do have here the Six of Cups again. Support. You could be having a lot of support from your friends or family. Look, the Devil card at the bottom of that. Yeah, Pisces, you're dealing with a lot of people that are just, that you just need to move away from. Okay? Um, you already could have moved away from them. But I feel like if you were connected to someone in a relationship or even a situationship, this person really tried to, yeah, they were stale, stale bread. <laughs> they were just very stagnant. But I feel here you're the one that's um, moving away. You're, mo you're moving away. I feel like you, you, you're you coming into more creative energy here. Mm, someone has an idea. Communication. You could be getting communication from this person that is stagnant. Someone poses a challenge here though. Four of Wands. Stability. Someone could send you a message and talk about um, commitment or you could be connecting to someone or committed to someone and right now like the sun has left the relationship like it, it's challenging at this time someone feels restricted king of wands the magician the three of swords I feel like you're trying to move away from this person. I feel like you are just not happy. Yeah, death. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. Yeah, I feel like you're closing yourself off. I feel like you're trying to um, move away from this. Or you're thinking about moving away from this. We have counterparts here. So I feel like um, I feel like you want to move towards your destiny. I feel like you are trying to manifest a soulmate here, or you're trying to manifest a stronger connection. Um, I feel like someone here is trying to is trying to defer you from this, from success. This person is is creating stalemate in your progress. This person is pushing that pause button on you. And I feel like you're moving away from this person because you're trying to manifest your counterpart here. This is what you're trying to manifest. This person is on your path. Okay, they're destined for you. They're meant to cross your path here. Um, for some of you, they haven't crossed yet because i do see that it's still manifesting um the fool here you want a new beginning you're moving away from this stagnant person okay four swords yeah i feel like you have an idea or someone wants to present to you an idea but i feel like you're just not going to have it i feel like you may you may think about it you may ponder yeah, I feel like you're going to question their intention. Are they coming from a certain place or an uncertainty uh, field? Uh, yeah, if, you're, you're going to move away. You're going to move away. You're going to decide to be single. If you aren't already, you're just going to decide to stay single. Um, you are... <sighs> The divine is tempering here with you because you've decided to walk away. 
um, you are looking out into the distance. You're, you're, you've turned your back on this person because you want to manifest something new here. You have a lot of clarity about the situation now and you're going to move. Um, that's just what I see. It's really crystal clear, Pisces. There's someone on your path that's creating a lot of restrictions and challenges for you. They're literally, they're a stalemate. They're a stalemate person. Okay, they're, they're stalemate. They're just pushing pause. They're not... They're not allowing you to move forward in your life and, and you feel stuck. You feel stuck and bound. They're literally like stealing the sunshine out of your life. And I feel like you know this. So you're moving away here with the Six of Swords. You're moving towards your, your destiny here. This is what you're moving towards. This is how uh, the cards are laid out. The Wheel of Fortune first and then the Six of Swords. So this is what you're moving towards. Okay, and you've turned your back on this person. Okay, this is what you turned your back to. Okay, the stagnant energy, this person. This could be a friend, okay, for some of you that's creating this theft-like energy. Um, so take it how it resonates, but this person is trying to steal your happiness i feel like this could be a person like a friend which is weird like i feel friend energy or like a situationship energy or someone that you thought you had something stable and committed to but really they didn't really offer much okay so i feel like you're moving towards your counterpart here you're manifesting this um okay and this is what you're moving towards Okay, you want the real stability. You want the new beginning, the 1111 here. Okay, this is this is done. I feel like if this is a friendship, this friendship is going to be cut. You've also outgrown this person, out, outgrown their mentality. Um, you're just getting clear. You're getting wise. You've turn, you're turning your back. You're getting balanced. The divine is also balancing you out. You're really... Um, staying in your own lane is what I heard really manifesting um, clearly you're manifesting clearly you're, you're going to overcome this challenge see here with the challenges card and the ace of swords is victory over this challenge okay so you will be victorious over this yeah you're moving you're moving quite quickly, quite rapidly. Okay. Um, the signs that I see here, sorry, this was a very quick reading. I didn't even realize how fast um, this was channeled to me, but it's a very direct message. The signs that I see here are Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, also strong Sagittarius energy here. Um, you're, you're going towards your, your true uh, counterpart here, okay? So um, cut yourself free from whoever this person is. Okay, thank you so much for watching, beautiful Pisces. I love you. I'm sending you so much love, light, and protection. Thank you.